welcome back to my workshop. Today we are going to see how good the K40 can do a 3D carving into uh, got some pine uh, and a bit of MDF. Now what I found with my 100 watt laser is that it, it actually would do a, a pretty good 3D carving in MDF because all the particles that it's made up of are all pretty well identical and they're identical size so the laser can strip the material out evenly um, and with timber um, you know there's hard and sort of soft areas throughout the grain and uh, you know you <laughs> it uh, it doesn't do an even um, removal of material um, but we're going to see if we can can get some sort of result out of it and um, there's our subject matter there now this is although it's commonly called a grayscale image and it is this is a 3d grayscale image uh, in that image there's 255 different graduates from black to white and the black colors as I'm sure you can see is the background and it gets lighter and lighter and lighter as it goes forward as opposed to a grayscale photograph which is just there's no reference within the grayscale image to give it any depth okay now that, that's the best way I think I can explain it these images are 3d scanned images they're not a photograph uh, so that's why uh, I'm sure a lot of you have tried to uh, get a black and white photograph and uh, do a 3d uh, carving with it and it doesn't work out so that's the reason why. They are special images that are 3D scanned. Uh, and it's again called a grayscale image. So the first thing we're going to do is take out this nasty clamp arrangement. I hate it. It's useless. I'll show you. Now this is... <laughs> It's, it's half an idea. It's half a solution, not a whole solution. I mean, this is, what, four inches by four inches, thereabouts. And, oh, and it, you know, you can't get it anywhere in there. You can't get it anywhere near it. So, let me move that back. So what I'm going to do is undo these four screws and completely remove it. And put some other brackets underneath here uh, to hold the uh, the original uh, the original plate uh, that comes with it. Um, but what I'm actually going to use to hold our piece of wood is is this, and it's uh, it's actually to adjust the height of a, a Bunsen burner, actually. But it can be put in here and the height can be adjusted to adjust our piece of uh, material up and down. Uh, I know that the laser is effective uh, three millimeters above the heights of this and three millimeters below. So the height of this is set midway in the effective area of the lens. So uh, that's what we, we need to put the piece of material two to three millimeters above the height of the original table height. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so what I've done to fix this unit into here, I don't want to go drilling holes and what have you. Uh, I'm using a trick that I've used quite a number of times over the years to attach 
material to my CNC router bed to machine it and it works very very well. You just get some pretty decent uh, painters tape uh, making sure that you don't overlap it so it's a very even surface. Uh, so you put some on the, the base of the item that you, 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 know, you want to put in place and then put some in the area where you want it to be and you just simply get some super glue and put a few dabs on the painter's tape like this just a few dabs on the painter's tape I put a few on here for good luck as well put the cap back on that before it all goes off and just simply put it into the area that you want it which in my case is right there just hold it firm for a few minutes and there you have it and it's a fully adjustable bed so now we can get our material under here raise it up and why I put it up in this corner here so I can use this as a reference and it's easy to measure you know I've got two to three millimeter above there okay so we have ink space open and we're going to come here to file and we're going to import desktop and double click on that and we're leaving everything as it is I'm going to say OK and we're just going to bring that roughly in the middle there and we need to make that quite a bit smaller than what it is so we need to put the lock on and we're going to make this um, possibly 70, 70 millimeters. Yeah, that's that's probably okay. And then what we're going to do is come here. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Resize page to content and resize. So the whole page, now instead of being the size of an A4, it is now just the size of a piece of art. And we can now export that. I'll save as, we'll save as um, to the desktop. Um, this is uh, 3D test. Uh, 3D test, and it's the first one for the K40. And we'll save that. Um, where is it? There it is up there. So what we'll do is start um, K40 Whisperer and we will import that into K40 Whisperer. 
So I'll open design file, it's on the desktop, and there it is there. So we'll double click that. Okay, so we're going to uh, fire the laser up now and um, we'll see what this does. <laughs> 